The first time I recall coming across Faith Bringle's work was at an exhibition that my mother curated at the Smithsonian. I had the poster from one of her quilts over my bed during high school. The idea of using a quilt as a material for storytelling was really impactful for me, but also I thought the illustrations were really beautiful. And the fact that she was incorporating text, there was like both a narrative and a fantasy aspect to the work. That was something that I hadn't really seen before. Her generation of artists started to work in multiple mediums and to really push what art can be and or should be. That was something that had a huge impact on what I thought was possible. The work behind me says, history is past if you're walking this way. And if you're walking this way, it says, past is present. I love the fact that one work can say two very different things, and the only way to actually know that or understand that is by moving around it and changing your own relationship to the work. That's how history is. We're told certain versions of history in school, and then we grow older and we wind up discovering that Things are much more complex and maybe the exact opposite of what we were taught. One of the things that is most powerful about Faith Ringgold's work is that it is both historical and very, very current. Artists are making something that will live the majority of its life outside of our own lifetime. So when we make art, we're actually speaking to the future. The most brilliant artists, I believe, are in very excited dialogue with future generations. There are very few artists who have been active for 50 years and have had work that was relevant and impactful across generations. The work that she made in the 60s with the flags is an inspiration for me today. The work that she was doing critiquing representation of artists of color and women in, in museums and galleries are also relevant today. When we're making work that is seen as political in nature, there is even a greater sense of passion and desperation in it. Art is posing an essential question that cannot be answered neatly. And what I am inspired by in the work of artists like Faith, and I hope to inspire in future artists, is this passionate, hopeful questioning that is not seen as an affirmation of past accomplishments, but instead a call to action around the work that's yet to be done.